thank you everybody for, for being here and it's lovely to join the gift this January. So lovely to be here. Um, so I'm Claire Evans. I'm the Chief Learning Officer at School of Humanity um, and I'm based in Chile. Um, school of Humanity is an online high school. So it's a, a global high school and it's an, a remote high school. So we everybody joins from different parts of the world um, and um, the team is from all over. So <laughs> it's, a, it's a very dynamic and interesting and agile way of working. Um, and um, I'd very much like to dive in and give a little presentation about the school so that um, everybody understands and knows what we're all about. And then we have some learners with us today who are going to present their, um, their solutions, their challenge solutions to the first term of the high school. So um, without any further ado, I will give a brief presentation about School of Humanity. So welcome to School of Humanity. Um, School of Humanity is an online international high school, as I mentioned, where learners join us from all over the world. So we are the high school for the world. It's a very progressive online high school. So we're literally reimagining how education is, is imparted, how education is done. Um, the learners learn by tackling real world challenges. Um, I'll talk more about that in a moment, talk about the different challenges that they, they encounter over each term. Um, the learning journeys are personalized. So learners are, are able to choose which challenge they want to work on within the challenge, which sub challenge they then want to tackle. Um, they are able to choose which skill units they'd like to, to work on, the skills that will help them um, develop their, their challenges. Um, it's very much about developing skills for the future. So we look at things like um, preparing portfolios, writing resumes, um, really preparing learners um, to, to learn the sorts of things that they will need um, to going on into their future careers. Um, the learners collaborate globally. So they're joining from all over the world. In the high school, we've got um, our first cohort. The high school was launched in September, 2022. Um, and the first cohort, we've got 20 learners from 10 different countries. So they're, they're really joining from all over the world. And the, the learners, uh, the, the learning journey is very, as I mentioned, personalized. It's very guided as well, very supported. We have a network of mentors from, from around the world as well. Um, and the, the learning journey is guided by a facilitator. It's interdisciplinary as well. It's important to note. So the, the learners, um, rather than like having subjects that are individualized and silos you know science and maths and English they they actually learn in an interdisciplinary way so for each challenge they really explore a challenge and look at it from different perspectives and explore and, and by doing so they're actually learning skills and developing their their knowledge um, in in different um, disciplines and we also have a focus on flourishing skills so flourishing skills for a meaningful life i will talk more about all of these points in a moment um so we have uh, three programs that we run actually we have a high school and um, we also have a supplementary school program which is um, a, a six month after school program and a summer school an intensive five-week summer school and the supplementary um program has been accredited by wasc um, and the high school is in the process of being accredited. Um, we are members of the Future School Alliance and also learners graduate with a mastery transcript. So we're members of the mastery transcript consortium. So I'd like to talk a little bit about the learning journey. As I mentioned, the learners learn by tackling challenges. So for each term, they will choose a challenge that they'd like to work on. And these are examples of the challenges that we're running um, last term and this term. And in the next term, so for each each in each year, there will be um, six challenges offered, um, and the learners will choose which one they particularly want to explore. Um, they will explore it, as I mentioned, um, with an interdisciplinary lens, working very closely with the learning facilitator um, to really look at what these different challenges mean. It's a solutionary process, so um, it's solu solutionary and challenge based. So challenge based learning is where the learning is broken up into different phases. Um, in the first phase, it's an engaged phase. So the learners uh, explore with, again, with their learning facilitator during live workshops. They um, 
very interactive live workshops. They they engage with the challenge. Um, they explore what it means, looking at it from different perspectives, uh, and really kind of work together to to understand what it means. They then go into an investigate phase where they look at sub challenges and they define a problem statement that they specifically would like to work on and develop into a personal project. The act phase is where the learners are actually working on their, their personal project, they're developing a solution to um, the challenge that they have identified. Um, we have a micro internship project as well where the learners, I'll talk more about that in a moment, but this is where um, the learners work with an organization that is aligned with the challenge that they're working on. Um, so, and they will have um, a challenge set to them by the organization um, and then they, they work as a team, they collaborate to solve it. And then finally, we have a share phase at the end, which is where the learners are uh, share and reflect really, where they reflect on their learning journey and share their solutions in a global showcase. Um, so our weekly experience, this is what learners will um, go through over the week. On a daily basis, they will have workshops or, or boot camps, which is where they are interacting as a group. Um, it's very, again, like I mentioned, very interactive. Um, it's very active learning, it's learner-led. Um, <clears throat> for each workshop, they will have prepared uh, prior to coming to the workshop, they will have prepared pre-sessions. Um, so they come and they've got some prior knowledge about what they'll be looking at that day. And then following the workshop, they'll consolidate that um, with a post-session activity. So really consolidating the learning that they did. Um, we have pathway advisory sessions. So this is where we are preparing them for the future, looking at building their skills um, for the future and thinking, you know, visualizing where they want to go. The flourishing sessions are where they explore purpose and um, find a part of meaning in their life. Um, industry mentorship sessions, these are where the mentors join us um, and the learners. The mentors are industry specialists. So depending on the challenge they choose, there'll be a mentor who is again, aligned with their challenge. So an industry specialist, and this is where learners can really dive deep into the content of their, of their challenge. Um, and then we we have a masterclass series where we ask guest speakers to join us um, and deep dive into a given subject or they share their career story. Um, but it's an opportunity for learners to um, just really see what kind of careers people do and get to ask questions and, um, you know, just have that contact with um, these industry specialists and experts. Uh, we, as I mentioned, learners um, can choose skills that they want to develop. Um, this is what we call asynchronous learning. So the synchronous learning is the live workshops, the sessions, the pathway advisory that we do together, um, the one-to-one -one learning with the learning facilitators and mentorship sessions. And then the asynchronous learning is where learners choose um, skills that they'd like to develop. And so for example, we have a selection of hard skills or soft skills that they can then work through in their own time, um, depending on, on their interests. and, and particularly the skills they need to develop to get on with their um, with their progress, their learning journey and their challenge. The flourishing session, <coughs> excuse me, the flourishing sessions um, are once a week and this is um, an opportunity for learners to really explore social and emotional learning, um, to look at things like meaningful relationships and practice of gratitude, the growth mindset really helps them to, to learn how to um, explore themselves and and their, their purpose in, in life and how to react to things and how to grow. Um, and then just briefly, uh, um, as I mentioned, we have a network of industry mentors. So they, they come really from, again, all over the world and different types of um, specialisms, but people, um, specialists in medicine, for example, um, specialists in space. So depending on what the challenge is, we will look for a mentor who is aligned with that particular challenge. The micro internship projects, so these are really an opportunity for learners, A, to collaborate with each other and B, to work um, closely within a real industry. So the, the industry will set them a challenge that they genuinely are facing and ask the learners to um, come up with a solution that they will then present back to them. And some of the organizations that we've worked with, um, we've worked with the Alma Observatory in Chile, um, Lemu Surag, which is a surgical 
audio guidance system, an innovative system, the Institute for Transmedia Design in Slovenia. So again, organizations from around the world um, and they're really exciting things for the learners to, to learn about and to get involved with. We recently launched a hybrid hub in Dubai. So there's a um, like a, a concentration of learners um, and members of the team who are based in Dubai um, and they've launched a hybrid hub, which is a uh, available for learners in Dubai to go and co-learn with each other. Um, they have live workshops and they, they have um, excursions and, and access to learning resources and, and facilities and, and of course their facilitators. So we have an open day coming on next week, in fact, on January the 21st and another on February the 18th. So if you'd like to learn more about um, the high school, then I invite you to join us um, for the open day. There there'll be um, members of the School of Humanity team, so you'll be able to ask questions um, specifically and, and just learn more about what it is that we do. And applications are now open for the summer school 2023, so if there's something um, that you'd be interested to, to experience, then you can uh, apply to join us for the summer school. Um, and then, of course, the, the high school applications will be opening for the, or in fact, are open ready for the high school um, start in September 2023 as well. So very happy to answer any questions. If you would like to reach us at any time, please don't hesitate to reach out. Um, you can find us on all of the social media and, um, of course, through the website as well, where you can um, contact us directly. So thank you very much for listening. That was all about School of Humanity. And now I would like to stop sharing and present the learners.